Okay, let's create a histogram of the grades data. So first, we'll go hist, and then we'll put in our x, and we're going to give it a title. So we'll name equals histogram of final grades. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks fine. This is a count. There's one grade in the 20 to 40 range. There it is, etc. Now, if I want to make it not a frequency but a density, I can do freak equals false. And then it gives a, a number here on the y axis. And what this references is the width of the bar, in this case 20, times whatever the value is. And if you do that for all of these, then it adds up to 1. Um, if you want to know what the exact value is from that, I'll show you how to do that. This is minimize. Shrink that a little bit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up my last command, and then I'm just going to give this a, write this to, to an object called h. Now I'm going to do h, and it's going to show me all the data that's contained in this object. And there are the densities. So there's the density of the 20 to 40 bar, the 40 to 60, the 60 to 80, and the 80 to 100. And so this number multiplied by the width, which is 20, added together with the same the dot product of all of these equals 1. And uh, that's, what, that's how you create a histogram. If you're not happy with the set number of bins that hist gives you by default, you can change it by adding breaks equals, let's say I wanted to break it out into 100. Here we go. Now, very fine grained in terms of the bins. Not quite as useful. There we go. So you can play with breaks to figure out how many breaks, how many bins you want to break it into. Sometimes histograms don't give you the x scale that you want. For example, here's my grades data set. And now I'm going to just do the default histogram plot. And you see, you put my x-axis from 20 to 100. But if I really want the x-axis from 0 to 100, then I need to do x lim equals c 0 comma 100. And it's changed it. And you could do the same thing using y lim if you wanted to change it as well.